Okay, what I'm going to talk about today is a topic in B1, all about genetics. Now within this topic, there's lots of keywords, so we're just making sure that we know and we're confident what all of these different words mean. So first of all, we have DNA. In all of our cells in our body, it contains this uh, double helix shape, that's the, the kind of like a twisted ladder shape uh, molecule called DNA, which contains all the genetic information about how to make anything in your body. A, a section of this DNA is called a gene. Now what this section is, is it's a code, a list of instructions of how to make any protein in the body. So if we have this particular gene here, this gene could be for eye colour, it could be of how to make a particular enzyme, then we could make that particular protein. Now you inherit your genes from your mother and your father. And so you'll have one gene about, um, let's say, eye colour from one parent, and a, another gene about eye colour from another parent. So these are different versions of the same gene, also known as alleles. So let's say you've got your, um, you have this allele for brown eyes from your mother, and this allele for blue eyes from your father. Now the one with a capital letter is denoted like this because it is dominant. This means we only need one of this allele for this to be expressed in the phenotype. We'll get to what that means in a second. If it's lowercase, this shows that it's recessive. This means that we need two of this allele for this to be expressed in the phenotype. So, first of all, we have the term that we need to know called genotype. Now, genotype is just the type of genes that you have. So this here could be your genotype because you have this gene, this particular allele, and this gene, this particular allele. Remember, alleles are just different versions of the same gene. In this case, for eye colour. This person here would have brown eyes because uh, brown eyes, this, sorry, this allele here is dominant, which means this person would have brown eyes. However, if this person had this genotype, type of genes, this person would have blue eyes because they have two recessive alleles, meaning they have blue eyes. Now, another term we need to know, or two terms rather, are heterozygous and homozygous. Now, the way that I always remember this is this. I think of heterosexual relationships and homosexual relationships. Heterosexual relationships are between um, a man and a woman. So it's people of different sex. And so heterozygous genotype means that you have um, different alleles, one dominant and one recessive. Homozygous relationships are of two people of the same sex. In this case, this is how it relates to this. So we have two alleles which are the same. So this is homozygous recessive. The last key word we really need to know is the phenotype. Now what the word phenotype means is how it physically looks on the outside. Now what I mean by that is if someone has this genotype of two recessive alleles for blue eyes, their phenotype, how it will physically look, is they have blue eyes. This person's phenotype, because they have that dominant allele, this person's phenotype is that they have brown eyes. That is most of the genetic key terms that we need to get our heads around. Thank you.